SketchUp Free is a new 3D modeling software from the makers of SketchUp Pro. It works on many different kinds of systems, and there's no software to install. Plus, you're always using the most current version. Let's give it a try. Open your browser and go to the SketchUp Free site. The startup page has some good info on the features. Click on the Start Modeling button, and the first time you use this site, you'll be asked to agree to the terms and conditions. When it loads, we have a familiar SketchUp setup with a person. This one is Josh, one of the SketchUp team members. The SketchUp team always includes a person in the templates. The person gives a sense of scale for models. Looking at the interface, on the top of the screen is the hamburger menu, as well as some file menus. On the bottom is the status bar, which has the undo and redo buttons. On the left and right side of the screen are toolbars similar to the Getting Started toolset and the default tray in the SketchUp Pro version. The tools on the left are used for modeling an object. The ones on the right apply to the way the object and the scene is displayed as a whole. Let's make a simple birdhouse shape model and see how SketchUp Free works. Feel free to follow along with this video, clicking the pause or rewind buttons when necessary. You will start with the modeling tools on the left. From top to bottom, they are the Select tool, Eraser tool, Paint Bucket tool, Line tool, looks like a pencil, Arc tool, Rectangle tool, Push-Pull tool, Move tool, Tape Measure tool, Walk tool, and Orbit tool. When modeling in the video, I will call them out so you can follow along. When you click on a tool, your cursor changes. It's a visual cue of which tool is currently active. Each tool has a different selection point. Pause the video often as you get acquainted with the tools. To return to the default selection tool, just tap the spacebar on your keyboard or click on the selection tool button on the toolbar. As you continue working with SketchUp Free, how the tools work will become second nature. One more thing to note about the toolbar. Some additional tools are nested under the visible top tool. You can tell by the small triangle symbol on the side of some of them. For example, clicking on the rectangle tool shows other shapes we can draw. When you click on these shapes in the flyout, the tool is activated and the top tool changes to that shape. Keep the rectangle tool active for now. The concept for making models in SketchUp Free are the same as the regular SketchUp software. Make a shape and then pull it into 3D. Let's begin by making a rectangular shape for the base. Click on the Rectangle tool. Since the Rectangle tool is already active, click on the ground surface next to the person and then move the cursor diagonally across. Do not click and drag. Use a click, move, click technique. Most SketchUp tools use this technique for better accuracy. Type 2 feet, comma, 3 feet and click Enter. Make sure to type the symbol and not the word feet. This will make a 2 foot by 3 foot rectangle. Notice the dimensions are displayed on the lower right. Before selecting another tool, you can type different numbers. This is a bit large for a birdhouse. Let's change the rectangle size to 6, 8. Don't try to click in the box. You can't. Just tap the new number and click enter. The measurement box displays the new size and the rectangle automatically adjusts. This particular template is set to inches, so if no units are typed, then the size will be in inches. When typing sizes, however, any unit can be typed. You can even mix and match units. Now that you have a shape, click on the push-pull tool. Click the surface and pull up. Do not click and drag. Just click to pick up, move your cursors upward, and click to put down. Notice the dimension box information changes to distance. Type the distance, 8. 
In SketchUp 3, you're always drawing in 3D. We can navigate around the object by using the navigation tools. Click on the Orbit tool to see the different flyouts. Orbit, Pan, Zoom, Zoom Window, and Zoom Extents. Zoom Extents is really handy when getting lost in a model. Navigation is even easier if you have a mouse with a scroll wheel. Use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Depending on where you place the cursor will depend on what you zoom into. Try this. Place your cursor on Josh's shoes. Then use the scroll wheel to zoom closer. Now zoom out. Move the cursor towards Josh's head. Use the scroll wheel again. Now you're getting closer to Josh's head. If you press down the scroll wheel and drag the mouse, you can orbit. Pressing down the scroll wheel as well as the shift key on the keyboard will initiate panning. Just remember, the object isn't moving around. Instead, we are moving in relation to the object. Let's continue building the birdhouse. Zoom out to see the model, and then move the cursor over the birdhouse and use the scroll wheel to zoom in closer. This way we can be more accurate with the next steps. Let's create a slope top. We will start by drawing a line from the front to the back. Click on the line tool to activate it. Then move your cursor to the front of the top. Notice how when you get close to the edge, grips appear? Click when the line tool gets to the midpoint. Move the cursor towards the back. The line should appear green as you draw it. Click again when you get to the midpoint of the back. SketchUp Free Tools automatically snap to edges, corners, and midpoints. Click on the Select tool. Use the Select tool to select the line. Click on the Move tool. Click on the line and move the mouse upwards. The top of the birdhouse model auto folds. Click the up arrow key on your keyboard to lock the direction in the blue axis, which is up. Click to set the line. Type the distance, 4. Press Enter. The arrow keys on the keyboard restrict the direction of movement. The up arrow locks in the blue direction, the right arrow in the red, and the left arrow in the green. A good way to remember the left and right arrow key relationships is the phrase, right is red, thereby leaving the left arrow for green. If your model didn't autofold in the previous step, the line was not drawn in the correct green axis direction. Remove the line using the eraser tool. Use the line tool to redraw the line, paying close attention to the direction it is drawn. It should look green as you draw it. Now is a good time to note the axes. SketchUp Free has a green axis which points to north, a red axis pointing to east, and a blue axis which points up, away from the drawing plane. They make up a 3D Cartesian grid meeting at the origin near the person. Keeping track of your axis direction is critical for good model making in SketchUp Free. Let's continue with the birdhouse. We want to make a hole for the bird. Let's make the center of the hole 5 inches from the bottom and aligned with the peak. Start by using the tape measure tool to locate a 5 inch guideline up from the bottom. Click the tool. Then click the bottom of the model. Move upwards in the blue direction. A dashed guideline will appear. Type 5 and press Enter. Now for the circle. Click on the rectangle tool to initiate the flyouts. Click on the circle tool. Hover, do not click, over the peak of the roof. And then slowly move the mouse towards the guideline. A dotted line will appear to denote that the center of the circle is lining up with the peak. When the circle nears the guideline, it will snap to it. Click to set the center. Then move the cursor outwards. Again, do not drag. Type 1 for the distance. Press Enter. This will create a circle with a 1 inch radius. Click on the Push-Pull tool. Push the circle in 1 inch. Use the eraser tool and click on the guideline to delete it. 
we no longer need that. Click on the circle tool again and make a smaller circle below the larger one for the perch. You can just approximate the location. Type 0.25 for the radius. Use the push-pull tool to bring it out 3 inches for a perch. You can now paint the birdhouse. Click the paint bucket tool. The materials panel appears to the right. By default, it shows which colors are already being used. These are the colors visible on the person. Click the search button. A variety of different materials can be selected. Some look like actual surfaces, others do not. Click on colors to select. Select a color for the walls. Click the surfaces of the model. You will need to orbit to select all the surfaces. You can orbit by pressing down the scroll wheel and dragging the mouse. Click the materials panel to select a different color for the roof and perch. Paint the model. Select a dark color for the hole. If you are logged into your account, you can save the model to a file. Click the Save button and give the model a name. This model is now saved in the cloud. We can access this model on another computer or even share it with a friend. By clicking the File Operations button, you can also download the file to your computer as a SketchUp or STL model. You are done making a simple birdhouse shape. In a future video, we will recreate this birdhouse more detailed using keyboard shortcuts, right-click menus, and components. Thank you for watching.